sure you want to go up there today, bro? <laughs> Hey, good morning guys. So today, me and TJ, we're heading up the mountain. It is pouring rain down here in the valley, but we're hoping that up top, it's gonna be snowing. I think the weatherman said that the freezing level is at about 1800 meters. So that's, that's pushing it. That's about where we wanna be snowboarding. So we're gonna head up and see what the snow's like. Hopefully some powder. Yo guys, we just got in the chair, we're getting rained on. It's pretty nasty up here. This, this doesn't suck, this is awesome. Yeah, woo! These raindrops are turning into snowflakes. I can see it, it's happening. I don't know about that, bro. All right guys, so we're up here at about the 1600 meter mark on Blackcomb. The rain turned to snow. We've got some powder below on the heavy side, but I think if I move my stance back 10 or 20%, just be flying through this powder all day. It's definitely wet and heavy out here, guys, but uh, it's looking pretty good. It's looking better than, uh, than previously anticipated. All right guys, so just moving my stance back like 20% this is gonna allow my nose to float a bit easier through that powder and also making the tail much smaller so it can sink and I can get those turns around a bit quicker too. All right, so we're gonna go down here. There's like a little place where we can sneak through between the gate and the trees and then cut right. We just pretty much have to straight line it through the powder. Keep our noses up and don't fall. No falling. Yo, first lap through the powder. Just pretty much straight lining it, keeping that nose up. Because I set my stance back on the deep thinker here, it actually made it pretty easy going through that deep, heavy snow. And back leg was fine. Overall, just super stoked to be up here. Rain in the valley has turned into these big giant snowflakes up top. It's pretty awesome up here actually. Still a little bit wet, but the snow is super, super fun. No complaints. Yeah, the snow is so much fun. It definitely sucks you in though. Woo! Uh oh. TJ, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Woo. Yeah. A few tips for riding through this heavy powder snow. I think the most important thing plan your line. You want to stick to the slopes that have a good pitch, nothing too flat where you're going to get stuck. And then also just keeping your speed up. 
today we're mostly riding with our boards pointed straight down the hill. A few turns here and there, but mostly just riding at high speed to get through the powder. Go fast. Go fast. You got another one-liner tip? Don't fall. <laughs> Solid advice. And if you do fall into some deep snow, the trick is to get your board below you, across the slope, stand up on your toes, and then just shimmy until you can get your board going down the hill again. Getting buried in the snow here each lap just getting deeper heavier more wet <laughs> Whoa. Ah. dude <laughs> it's like at least twice as hard to get yourself out of this heavy powder versus regular powder They've even got a park set up here on Blackcomb. Little down box and tube. Save that for another day though. Cucumbers too, please. All right guys, so I got all my snowboard gear set up to dry overnight so I can ride again tomorrow. I think today it was pretty wet up there because the freezing level was just going higher and higher. So that snow turned into rain. Hopefully the freezing level comes down and we get some of that good snow again. I hope you guys are getting some good snow where you are. Thanks so much for watching today. Have fun with your riding and we'll see you in the next one soon.